So we are what now? Three weeks in and this game still comes up with mysteries like this. This is crazy guys and I believe it could actually lead to a hidden gun in this game. Today guys we get into it. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So there are still secrets hidden within the world of Dying Light 2 and today guys I need your help in solving yet another puzzle. Now we all know that there's a secret hidden weapon stash somewhere, a gun stash somewhere within the city, or will be within future content, there's just too many indications to it. We also have the boomstick blueprint which besides glitching the Kadoom out of the Doom Easter Egg is more or less the only gun in the game, right now anyway. But guys, there might actually be more weapons, more guns not associated with glitching or exploits that you can get your hands on nor are these associated with any hidden gun stash. Okay, so across the cities of Central Loop and Old Villador, there are hidden voicemails you can listen to. Not sure how many there are in total, but a good portion you can collect upon doing a book club mission. As the places this quest sends you, you hear a few of these. Now in total, like I said, I ain't sure how many there are, but in like Dying Light 1, it seems as though there are a few. Now some of these voicemails are really interesting to listen to. And I believe, like many others, that they could lead to undiscovered things. Now there's one real interesting voicemail which this video is about, which I came across, which could indeed uncover a secret gun. A hidden gun. And like I said, with guns in this game being few and far between, this could actually be our second legit gun. Now we know of ammo and guns being within the game files of Downlight 2. It's just a case of now of us finding those secrets and uncovering them within the world of this game. And this may just help us do that. Okay, so near the VNC tower, as you can see where I'm at on the map right here, there's a renegade base you need to seize operations of and take control over. Now, in one of these floors, there is a voice mailing machine. Here, take a listen to it. September 22nd, 2023 at 11, 12 a.m. Listen carefully and do as I say. In my office, Open the locker that says Council of Mankind. The second drawer from the top has a double bottom. There you will find a gun and some ammo. Take them out and keep them with you. In the wardrobe behind the jackets, you will find my suitcase already packed. Take it. Just pack the essentials in the other suitcase. Take the kids. Tell them we're going on a trip. Go to the Mount Lucid Observatory Council. Park behind the building near the garbage bins. Wait for me there. I'm gonna sneak out just before 4 p.m. Don't call me. And don't hesitate. Just trust me for once in your life and do it right now. I know I shouldn't be leaving the city, but I don't give a rat's ass. You're the ones that matter to me, and I will not let you die. Delete this message at once. So it's clearly of a woman who has a gun hidden. And as for the person who should have answered this call, to grab this weapon, grab a suitcase, and meet her behind the Mount Lucid Observatory Council building. Now this building is right here on the map. But this isn't the problem we are having. The problem is in finding this hidden locker which supposedly beholds this gun. So right now we are looking for a locker somewhere that states Council of Mankind on it. Where this is, we have no idea. But it must be somewhere within the game. Now the Council of Mankind references more than just a locker in this game. There's actually session tapes, uh, artifacts you can retrieve, but I'm not sure they have any correlation to where this locker could indeed be hiding. But I mean if you're good at finding and figuring out secrets some riddles, uh, yeah, take a listen to them. Ladies, gentlemen, it is my honor to open the first session of the Council of Mankind. Tuesday, the 21st of March, 2023 in Villador. The Council consists of the Party of Nations. Vice President, 
Dmytro Klapovsky replacing the critically ill president of Russia. France's Minister for External Affairs, Bastien Dacan. Sweden's Minister for External Affairs, Eva Trenat. First interim head of state after the coup d'etat in Italy, Sergio Esposito. The new Chancellor of Germany, Olga Radke. And the Councillor of New Britain, created after Scotland's departure from the United Kingdom, William Hughes, in my humble person. Condolences on the death of the Queen, Councillor. The GRE is represented by GRE Chief Medical Officer Katsumi Kobayashi. And the Army by the Commander-in-Chief, General Pratt. Dear Council, the world is falling apart. Over two million people die every day in Europe alone, and we... <coughs> Mr. Hughes, can we skip ahead? We are all exhausted from our journeys. Some of us have had to travel over four days to reach Velador. Very well. Dr. Kobayashi, what is the city status? So far, the infection seems to remain under control here in Villador. We've had a few isolated cases, but strict quarantine and containment protocols have slowed the spread of the virus. We plan to build humanitarian aid centers and safe corridors for the transport of food and drugs. Please provide a detailed roadmap for all this tomorrow morning. I am proposing we enact a regulation governing the relationship between the GRE and the Army. General, the French Ministry of External Affairs will assist you in drafting such a proposal. That will not be necessary. My people could... That will be all, General Pratt. Next order of business. Tuesday, the 17th of July, 2023. We hereby begin the 17th session of the Council of Mankind. As you are all aware, the global situation is degrading rapidly. We have several reports confirming Pakistan did indeed drop a nuclear bomb on the Indian region of Jammu. Entire countries are being declared lost to the virus. Hungary, Croatia, Portugal, Austria, Finland, and... The British Prime Minister died of THV last week. Ladies and gentlemen, we must face the facts. It is the responsibility of those of us in this room to start a new chapter for humankind. As history shows, it would not be the first time that international cooperation pulled the world from crisis. You are in a fine mood today, Minister Dachau. General Pratt, we would like to hear your report now. At once, Monsieur Dakar. Agricultural facilities and warehouses are being seized, and the main distribution hub is being managed by the GRE under the watchful eye of the Army. The Army's cooperation with the GRE has so far been exemplary. I concur. Thank you, Dr. Kobayashi. We control the streets and checkpoints in the area. We've secured electrical substations and water towers. Despite initial opposition from workers, we finally managed to convert the former Dynamo Cars, the electric car factory, into a solar power plant. Now, please, Dr. Kobayashi, we would like to hear the progress on the GRE initiatives. Thank you. The first tests of the THV GenMod compound were successful. It shows unparalleled chemical stability, and its ability to degrade the DNA of infected cells is remarkable. We may finally have a key weapon against the virus within reach. No time to delay, Dr. Kobayashi. Please, provide samples to the army. We'll do our own tests. It's too soon for that. Research takes time. I submit a motion for the GRE to provide the army with THV GenMod samples and submit to military supervision over the GRE itself. General Pratt. History shows rushing science leads to catastrophe. There are people who- General Pratt is right, Dr. Kobayashi. Extreme situations call for extreme measures. I accept the motion for the handover of the current GenMod component samples to Army Research Labs. Dr. Kobayashi, you will help General Pratt move forward with a weapon concept using your compound as a basis. Who is for? Thank you. 
Who is against? Thank you. Who abstains? Thank you. The motion has been passed by five to three votes. Dr. Kobayashi, please begin the necessary procedures. begin the 52nd session of the... Minister, what's going on? I have shut off all power at the VNC Tower. The people of this city must not know the full extent of the virus outbreaks. Is this some kind of joke, General? Wait. You knew about it, Klaposki, didn't you? Do you want panic? A coup d'etat? We cannot lose control of the city. Why do you think the other council members were arrested? We need to speed up work on the THV Genmod and have it ready for use. The Genmod is not ready. You know that we have discovered highly dangerous side effects, right? The GRE does not recommend- Silence, Katsumi. In other news, a massive influx of migrants from Asia have massed the city gates in recent weeks. Tens of thousands of people. And the second largest camp in Europe, located in Greece, has collapsed. Its refugees are heading here as well. <sighs> God. Thankfully, we've reinforced the new walls, and we suppressed the most recent THV outbreak. This is the last resort, General. These are families with kids. Humans like us. Remember? The Council of Mankind? The protocol states that... Spare me, Kobayashi. It's too late for all that crap. The GRE is becoming villain. At least that's what the people are starting to think more and more each day. You're pitting them against us, General! Nonsense. I am merely stating a fact. This is a travesty! A travesty! Well yeah guys, right now as to where this locker could be is a complete mystery. But I do feel it's somewhere on this map. Whether or not it does behold a gun, I have no idea. But I'd love to figure this out. Well, if you guys have any clues onto this, please let me know down below in that comments section. Is the boomstick really the only legit gun we can get in Dying Light 2 before this secret weapon stash, this secret gun stash is discovered with DLC to come? Could there just be one other gun in this game that we could get our hands on? Is this the first of many steps in uncovering that gun? It could just be. But we will see guys, we will see. Like I said, if you guys have any information on this, please let me know down below in that comments section. Or you can always hit me up on my Discord, linked down below. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, it really helps out. Tell me your thoughts on this down below. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.